Hey, Project Fam, do not adjust your cameras. Those are not polka dots. That is not cheese. Those are bugs stuck to a sticky trap. Today, I'm going to give you an update to my seedlings that are growing in the dome trays. And check out this new intro. Hey, Project Fam, it is spring again. If you're new to the channel, you should know that this is the time of the year I get to work on my two favorite types of projects, cars and gardening. Thanks for your support. Please share the video and enjoy. Oh, one last thing. You know it doesn't cost anything to subscribe, right? Hit the button. Let's pass. Let's see what's going on here. Can we get the cover off? Let's get the cover off. Can I do this one? Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. All right. So my okra needs some stability. You need some stability in your life, okra. And you need some nutrients. That's why you're turning yellow. So we got to get you out of these little fake pods and get you some nutrients. Collard greens, same thing. Got to move them out. All right. My scotch bonnet. Man, that was an early sprouter because that's the one at 10 o'clock. That's an early sprouter. As we move across, take off my glasses. Got the habaneros over there. That one's coming up. 10 o'clock is over there coming up. So when I say 10 o'clock, I mean I put a seed in the middle and I put a seed on this side around 10 o'clock. That's what I call it. Ooh, ooh, my reapers, my reapers. Nice. And the jalapeno. Yeah, this entire row looks pretty good. Cayenne. Chocolate and boat legged. Still on his way. But look at my weeds. Look at my tomatoes. My tomatoes need to be transplanted real soon. So that's going to be this weekend. Let's see how our marigolds, see the uh, the moisture? I love that. It's almost like it's self-watering, but it's not too hot. I love it. Let's take this off and see what it looks like. The marigolds look great. Wow. Uh, let's put this over here. So how many? Wow, this, this looks pretty good. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So five times eight is 40. And it looks like we have a very high germination rate. So let's count the ones that did not germinate. One, two, three, three? Is it only three? Three out of 40, that's over 90% germination rate. So these marigolds did their thing. That looks good. And last but not least, let's put this cover back on without doing anything. I'm gonna let this ride another week or so. I'm not gonna move that. And these guys. Oh, so we have some more jalapenos. Jalapenos like to come up. And this one is our white habanero. Okay, they are ready to go. Alright, that's a pretty good update. I like these domes. I really do. I wonder what I'm going to do when I move the plants out of this dome. Alright, let's look and see how a bay leaf is, bay leaf is doing. Good. Our snake plant looks good. This needs to be re this already grew out of this pot. This seriously needs to be repotted. All right, let's look over here and look at our yellow sticky. It's still doing its thing. I'm not gonna try and count. I am gonna try and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, eight, and another three, six, nine, say ten. So another wow. 38. Wow, that looks pretty good. All right. Now let's see what's going on in these. Oh, that looks like rosemary. That looks like rosemary. Take a come on, camera. Take a good look at the leaf. That looks like rosemary. And I think it's liking its new dome environment. 
So these four inch pots worked out. Rosemary likes it. Holy basil, I still can't see too much. It's not dead, that's a bonus. And again, see the moisture? All right, that looks like holy basil too. Oh, that's a rosemary. Looking good. That's a holy basil. All right. This is junk. Oh, but look, okay. This guy looks pretty good. It's very interesting because this one looks good. And this looks so bad. Like something's going on with this pot I haven't figured out yet. And they're in basically the same size pot. They get the same amount of light and the same nutrients, but something is different. So this is in a jar. It doesn't have any, look at the green, ah, oh, yuck. But look at the cactus, look at that. All right, that's new. Let's get it up close, look at it. Okay, this is looking pretty good. This is the cutter. Got some standing water, which I'm gonna get rid of. We don't like standing water. Get a close up of this cactus. Look at it at the top, it's growing. And this <laughs> cactus, I don't remember the name of that succulent, is growing over here. Just like its twin over here. It's doing the exact same thing. See the size of this leaf and that little arm? size of this leaf and that little arm it's doing the same thing very good and this snake plant sometimes I can pick up the pot and just based on the weight I can tell you if it needs water so that's why I pick up the pots a lot and this is our Christmas cactus let's see if I can keep it alive till Christmas <laughs> This is another one of our succulents. I thought wasn't going to do well inside this clay pot, but it's starting to grow. It's starting to rebound pretty nicely. All right. Did I get everything over here? So this guy's not doing that well. I'm looking for it to grow at all. But mind you, the only difference between this and this is this doesn't have any drainage. I don't think I put any drainage in it. No, it's no drainage. Zero drainage. Experiment bust. Hello, friend. Ooh, hope I didn't break it. It's still empty. Maybe I should have broke it. No. All right. Then I moved the aloe down here. That's our mother aloe just hanging out up there, doing a little better. I just moved the aloe from the direct sunlight. And now I have a wall of aloe. It's almost time for a plant giveaway. Literally just giving them away. Now, what's interesting is this yellow sticky over here has just a couple of bugs on it, right? But you go over here. Let me get you, I'm gonna get that one again. I'm just gonna tap it next time. I can't deal with that. But you go over here, like along the wall, and man, check that out. That is awesome. Gotcha. Oh, you know what? Oh my gosh. Now I done stuck the plant, making a big mess. But the only thing I can say, <laughs> this is this is ridiculous. Come on, man. Man, these bugs are taking me out of character. You see this thing right here? It's just bothering me. So what I'm gonna do is Did I get it? but I sure made a mess over here. Look, look at these guys. Uh, all right, doing fine. Let's take a look 
poke around. All right, our big clay pot seems to be doing okay. Some new growth down here. And <laughs> mystery pot seems to be doing well. You know, the one without a tag. Pet peeve, I have no idea what that is. This is a lemon balm. This thing is taking off. That's lemon balm. Okay. Should have made it easier. The cayenne. Oh boy. Oh, we're gonna have to talk about Miss Cayenne over here because Miss Cayenne is already starting to seed. Oh boy. Miss Cayenne needs a bigger pot. That's what it needs. All right. And soon these are gonna start to seed. So. I need to make a move, make a move, make a move. All right, let's take a look around here. Let's open up this apple just for fun. Again, man, these things are too hard to open. They're really difficult. Oh, 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 I think I popped. Oh, I got one. I got one. I got one and I'm watching one fly away. It's just bought. Oh, look at this. Okay, this looks sec. This is, I almost said it looks sexy. This looks nice. This is my, my interesting uh, aloe. It's a different shape leaf. Like maybe it needs moisture, a different strain. I don't know, but I gave it its own pot. These guys back here look fine. This clay pot's doing well. I'm actually propping this aloe up against the wall. And that update looks pretty good. So next on this table, I have to repot some of these. I might keep this one inside. I don't think I'm gonna let that go outside. Looks cool. Looks good. All right. So I came over here to get some more stills and I just couldn't imagine why there are so many gnats over here and there's no standing water. There's no standing water. There is standing water. This is a breeding ground for gnats. Breeding ground. I gotta get rid of that. Now I'm looking at the other bottles. Nope, there's nothing in this one. There's nothing in that one. So the reason why there were so many gnats on this side of the table was because that's the breeding ground. So here we're gonna do, just because these gnats like standing water does not mean you can't have any standing water. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to close up a lot of this by pushing just facial tissue, honestly. Ouch. By pushing face, facial tissue down in there, on both sides, all around. Now, mind you, I could probably just throw the rose away, but the owner of the rose, whoa, oh, I'm breaking the rose. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's not gonna be happy. The owner of the rose would not like that, so let me get something. Just shove that down in there. Ooh. I don't want to put it down in there too far because I won't be able to get it out. Okay, good. That'll work. And I'll put a couple of more stickies over here. Let's try and figure out how to get these bugs going. It's my one hand action again. Ugh. All right, let's peel it slowly from this side. This is just a test of patience. That's all this is. You just failed. All right, let's peel the other side. All right. Can I put that in there? Ooh, that's sticky. And what I'm gonna do is just cut it down here. bottle. All right, let's see if I can count. I 
wanted to put a fresh one up here so I can see how many bugs might have hung in this area, but it's going to stay just like that. No one's going to touch it. No one's going to know. So today, let's get this blueberry in a pot. So we're going to put this blueberry inside this guy here. We need to get some soil and call it a day. You don't know what's gonna happen, do you? You don't know. You don't know. The camera's always here. Just TV, man. <laughs>